Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Fat Man. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Fat. You know how I do, you know how I get down. This is Fat Man coming right out of his kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Over here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Of course, you can hear all the noise, all the dogs and stuff like that because I'm in the hood. And I do what I do in the hood. You know what I'm saying? And that's just because of my situation and where the hell I'm at. So we're going to make the best of it. That's why we cooking with fat. Alright? So welcome back. I'm just sitting here sipping on a little white wine. You know how it is. To everybody, to all my BBWs, to the new year. All my BBWs Club Curve. We put it down last week. You know what I'm saying? The Bikini Jam was off the chain once again. So big shout out to all my BBWs. Salute to all of y'all, you know what I'm saying? Ah. But everything's good on this end. Hope y'all enjoyed the broccoli soup series, uh, the uh, crab leg series, and this and the other. You know, Fat Man just trying to mix it up, do some things so it can be, um, I guess, exciting and, and I can hold y'all attention. Big shout out to everybody that's been sending me all the love, all the comments, all my BBWs out there. One love. Big shout out to my BHMs, to my big fellas out there. Y'all know how we do. We putting it down and it's going to stay down. You know what I'm saying? And us BHMs, we got to stick together. So that's why your boy been campaigning. BHM, Big Handsome Man. Yeah, that's me. You already know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad y'all here today. We, uh, of course, y'all be seeing my posts and everything on Facebook and this and the other. Today we're going to get into something a little more exotic. You know what I'm saying? I got me some lobster. All right, so we're gonna do a uh, a lobster fettuccine, okay, and a light cream sauce. All right, now I know people have been talking to me about fat man, you you know you cook it with the cream and this, that, and the other, and everything, and that's not trying to get healthy. Let me explain something to you about trying to get healthy. Getting healthy is being able to exercise, taking your vitamins, and moving around. That's being healthy. Getting healthier is eating right. Yeah, watching your carbohydrates, watching your intake. Of course, like I said, it's time to detox, everybody. We must detox our body. What I'm trying to tell you is that as long as you're doing these things right here, you can basically eat what you want just in moderation. You're not going to sit and eat a whole gallon of ice cream. You're not going to sit and eat a whole chicken or a whole pizza. Have a slice, maybe two. But treat yourself. Don't defeat yourself because you're defeating the purpose. Treat yourself. This is the reason why we got cooking with fat. So listen, we're going to be right back. I'm going to be right back getting this lobster together and everything. And we're going to do this in five, four, three, two, one. We'll be right back, y'all, with more cooking with fat. What's going on, everybody? Like I said, we're back again. We're going to do a... Uh, a um, lobster fettuccine tossed in a light cream sauce. Now, people may go, oh, lobster. Oh, my God, lobster is, 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 is so expensive and this, that, and the other. Look here. I went to Bowen's and got a lobster for $5. All right? Now, if I can go to Bowen's and find a lobster for $5, you can find a lobster for $5, too. Now, if you're looking at it, oh, fat man, I ain't got $5. Okay, then, then take your EBT card it's like you're playing spades. That's how I got my lobster. Big shout out to EBT. Let's keep it moving. All right, so we're going to get this lobster out of here. I'm going to show you how to break down a lobster. All right? Everybody, all the women, ooh, I like lobster. I like lobster. Everything like that. This is a lobster, okay? You see? All right, all right, all right, shit, you know what I'm saying? This is a motherfucker. This is a lobster. Excuse me. This is a lobster. All right. I'm getting too comfortable with y'all. Drinking too much wine and everything. But it's all good. But we gonna wash off our lobster. Did everything. Now I'm gonna show you how to break this lobster down. Okay. First of all, what you do? You got the tail. Just rip the tail right out like that. All right. You got all that gunk and shit, and this, that, and the other. We're gonna clean that out. The first thing to do to split a lobster, take your knife, stick it in the back of the lobster, like that. You hear that crunch? You hear when it crunch like that? That means you're in the back of the lobster. Take your knife, and take it straight down. That will cut your lobster in half, all right? Now you wanna take everything out of it, 
would take all the meat out of it and everything. And I want to show you certain things that you have to make sure that you clean out when you're cleaning the lobster. Okay, you see these glands? See that? That's the shit vein. Okay, you gotta get rid of that. You gotta clean that out. All of that stuff, you wanna get rid of. It. Okay? So you wanna clean these veins out. Making sure you got everything out of them. Of course, you want to run it in water. Hold on, I got a lobster that I've already done. It's a little bit of lobster meat, okay? It ain't like the lobster's gonna go a long way. Let me move my drink. Go a long way, we wash it off, get everything out of it. Clean lobster meat. Start all the junk. Alright? Alright, now you're saying, well, fat man, what are we gonna do with the claws? Well, you take the claws, take each claw, pull them out. See how easy they come out? Just like that. Now you got this piece. Usually we take this piece, we put it in a pot. I got a pot of boiling water back there. We usually put it in a pot and we make a lobster stock, okay? Which you may go, okay, fat man, what is a stock? Okay. Stock is basically all your vegetables, you clean out your refrigerator, you put carrots, celery, onions, bell peppers, all your ingredients, uh, thyme, thyme, uh, uh, well, thyme and thyme is the same thing, I'm sorry, uh, um, dill, dill weed, everything, you put it in this pot and boil it down. When you boil it down, you want the juice off of it. That's your stock. You take that stock and you can make sauces, you can make, uh, soups. You can make galantines the whole nine, all right? And that's what they do with this head. Usually when you do this, you put some uh, uh, fish, um, set, uh, <laughs> shrimp scales in this, there, and the other. I'm excited, y'all. Uh, some <laughs> shrimp and uh, shrimp scales and skins and all that. Boil it down. You get a seafood stock, okay? All right. So we're going to keep this pushing a couple of times. And you'll see it will come out. See how that comes out? See how that comes out like that? In perfect form. You may snap it, but it still comes out. In perfect form. Alright, so we're gonna debone this. We're getting all of the meat out of it and everything. We're gonna hit out the back of it, get all your meat out of everything in your lobster so you can get the fullness of your lobster, alright? Now I'm gonna keep taking this meat out and this, that, and the other, and uh, we gotta pay some bills, and we'll be right back with more cooking with fat. I got some new glasses, y'all. I can see, I, I can see a little bit better. I, I look around. Okay, so now we're back. Now, of course, you see we cleaned out the lobster meat. Lobster meat, basically, all in its, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, in, in its hole. It's very hard to kind of clean a lobster and get it out whole like that. But I just want to introduce somebody. I've been. I, uh, my, my, my daughter then came in and, and she wanted to be part of cooking with fat. She won't let daddy cook by herself. Say hi, Victoria. Look, say hi. Say hi. She ain't going to say too much because she got that mug and this, that, and the other. She looks just like her daddy. Ain't that right, girl? <laughs> it's all good, though. That's Victoria Pearl. That is the love of my life. When I tell you I'm cooking for a special woman and this, that, and the other, Paulette is outside playing. Of course, y'all know I got a two-year-old, a six-year-old, and, 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 and a one-year-old, you know what I'm saying? And I'm helping my sister out. Big shout out to my girl, Brittany. She's out there in Iraq doing her damn thing, protecting the country, Afghanistan, wherever the hell she is. She's out there protecting the country and this, that, and the other. So kudos to you, sis. I got the kids. Fat man got it on lock. Your bro got it on lock, so don't even worry about that. So like I said, you know, we just sitting back here chilling. You know what I'm saying? Fat Man just kicking the Willy Bobo with y'all today and everything. I got my, my water boiling. This doesn't take very long. You know what I'm saying? These are quick meals. I know y'all saying, well, Fat Man, you're supposed to be cooking stuff that we can cook for the kids. We're going to get into that. But right now, I'm trying to cook for the ladies. I'm trying to cook for my BBWs. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all women out there work so hard and y'all come home and it ain't a man there to cook you a meal. And I've been seeing a lot of stuff on Facebook about these men that ain't stepping the game up and this, that, and the other. Fellas, step your game up, man. There's a lot of women out here that need some love and this, that, and the other. Especially our BBWs, you know what I'm saying? You better get in your romantic bag and pull some stuff out because when you cook lobster and fettuccine, baby, panties drop like 
I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, back to what we was doing. Uh, wanted to give some quick shout outs to some people. I told you if you chimed in before I started my show, so I'm gonna give you a shout out. Big shout out to my girl TT Champagne, always holding me down. Rough Rider, Rough Rider's in the house. Big shout out to her. Of course, I got Intelligence Music. Yeah, we never doubted you, baby. You know what I'm saying? Fat Man always had your back. So big shout out to my girl Intelligence. Of course, we got Sonya. All right. Shorty B, Sonya by nature, Shorty B, I call her for short, holding down upstate New York, and instead the other, what's going on with you, girl? One love to you, too, you know what I'm saying? Then I got my man Kasabian, Empire in the building, Kasabian holding it down, doing his damn thing, that's how we do it. Of course, we can't forget DJ Diva D, alright? Big shout out to her, my girl Kim Hollins. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Just to get y'all in there. I got more shout outs coming. But right now, we're going to get this fettuccine into this pot. We're going to keep it going. We're going to be right back. You know what I'm saying? With more cooking with fat. I don't know why I'm yelling, but it's just y'all get me so excited and I want y'all to hear me. But we'll be right back with more cooking with fat with my daughter, Victoria. Ain't that right, Victoria? High five. Your daddy, high five. All right. Cooking with fat, y'all. Put the uh, fettuccine noodles. In here first, we want to add, you always want to add, we got Las Vegas water. Las Vegas water holds a lot of minerals, uh, a lot of starch, and stuff like that in it. So you got to kind of, you know, add to your water so it does, so you don't get a lot of starch. That's like when you cook rice. Rice get a lot of gummy, it gets gummy. Put a little bit of this in it, a little virgin olive oil. Put a little bit of that in it. That way it's going to make everything separate. A little vinegar. You put some vinegar in there. All right, once you put the vinegar in there, vinegar is going to neutralize the water and all of the new, and all of the minerals and the starch and everything. A little bit of salt. Salt does the same thing. If you look, you see what the water is doing. Make come here, cameraman, so they can see what the water is doing. You see how that water is neutralizing? See how it's boiling? And it's neutralizing, exactly, it's killing all the bacteria, all the germs. So we're basically getting fresh water. I'm going to put in a little bit of fettuccine. Kind of break it up, fold it in, and let it come to a boil. Put in a little bit more. I may have some company, you never know. Alright, so we got our fettuccine in. Everything's cooking. Now... We're getting ready to go and saute our lobster and put everything together, y'all. This is cooking with fat at your best, baby. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting here being cool with it. Be right back now. Pasta's been boiling. What we're going to do now is we're going to shock it, okay? Now, what I mean by shock it, I mean I'm going to put cold water in it, let cold water run in it. And it's going to stop the cooking process. A lot of people take pasta and stuff like that and put it in a bowl, drain the, drain the, uh, the, the, the boiling water off, put it in a bowl and let it set. you got to realize that smoke that's coming off that pasta is still cooking. So that's why your pasta gets mushy or any type of pasta. Shock it. Put it in cold water. If you have to take it to the next step, which we do in the restaurant industry, we give it an ice bath and we put ice on top of it. That way it shocks the cooking, okay? All right, then. so that's what I'm doing right now as you can see running cold water on it that way you see it stays at the bottom and it doesn't come to the top you do that with rice uh pasta vegetables everything that you can basically come up with now we're getting ready to chop the lobster go over here and saute and put all of this together and we gonna be right back because i'm about to flip the script like that of course like i said i was gonna dice up my lobster meat of course i got my lobster topping from my garnish and this, that, and the other. I'm gonna set this right here. That's gonna be the last thing that uh, that I played up. But I'm gonna get, I got my pot on. Of course, I'm gonna hit it with my garlic. Yeah, let's give it some garlic. People may go, that's too much garlic. That's just enough garlic and everything. So listen, back to everybody that's been watching, you know what I'm saying? I told y'all I was gonna give y'all some shout outs. Big shout out to Katrina Pittman. DJ Loco, you know what I'm saying, out there holding down Florida. Queen Steffi, all hail the queen, you know what I'm saying, also holding down Florida. And to my man, I am the Thrillantropist. 
Okay? Understand that. He's on Facebook. I am the the philanthropist, okay? He's on Facebook. Big shout out to him because he hit me up and was like, yo, fat man, I'm feeling you and this, that, and the other. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no hot feelings, bro. I'm feeling you too. Of course, my girl, Ryder. You know what I'm saying? Ryder Pitts. You know what I'm saying? She holding down the cookbook and everything. Big shout out to her. And my new BBW that just joined me, Lawanda Jones. Big shout out to Lawanda. Hey, baby, I'm loving you too. And of course, my dude, q Dog, Penthouse Entertainment. Yeah, you dropping beats. I understand that, but you ain't giving me no beat. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to shout you out. q Dog. you know what I'm saying? Penthouse. He another BHM, you know what I'm saying? And of course, Latisse Jackson. Latisse Jackson been holding me down for a long time, y'all. Y'all know what I'm saying and everything. I got love for that girl. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. You know, big shout out to her dad, Butch Jackson. We go way back. Of course, we got quarter to nine records. You know what I'm saying? And uh, giving them a shout out. Y'all, I got kids running around and this, that, and the other. Get in here. I got kids running around and everything. Y'all know how Fat Man do. It's still cooking with fat, though. You know, so plus we sauteing this up. I'm going to add my lobster meat now. Put that in there. You know what I'm saying? We got it. We got our... We had our, 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 olive, our olive oil. I'm gonna put a little bit more olive oil in there, just a little bit. Bring that to a saute and everything. Now we're gonna hit it with some seasonings. Got a little Italian seasoning. Just lightly now. You just want it to season. You just want to lightly cover everything. But you don't want to overrun it. We got a little oregano. I thought we had a little oregano. You know, now we got a little oregano. Uh oh. Not in the oregano. It's all good, y'all. Like I said, this fat man, he in the hood. <laughs> so it's all good. A little bit of oregano. We got a little fresh basil. A little bit of that. We're not putting very much in this, y'all. Just enough. Just enough. Just enough. And of course, we got our minced onions. A lot of people rather go with minced onions than to go with uh, regular large onions. People can't digest certain onions, things like that. So we put a little minced onion in there, just like that. You see what I mean? Oh yeah, that's sauteing it up. Real nice, all right? Y'all see how that's sauteing up? Now what we're gonna do, is for the piste resistance, a little ingle nook, white wine, all right? Hit it with that. You hear how that sizzles? And we gonna top that off, I'm gonna turn my heat up. And we're going to be right back with the plate up and everything. I'm drinking my Ingle Nook white wine. It goes good with Alfredo, anything pasta, seafood. Told y'all, I'm going to turn y'all on to some things. We'll be right back, y'all. Yo, okay, now we're back. Now, um, we're getting everything together. Of course, you can see this cameraman. Make sure they see that. Now, I'm going to add my garnish, which was the last to go on top. Flip that in like that. Now the piece de resistance. The thing that makes this what it do is this right here. Heavy whipping cream or whipping cream, period. Now, you may say it's too fatty, fattening and this, that, and the other. Now there's low fat whipping cream. And it's, you know, the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this. I want y'all to see this. Take this. We're going to pour that around it just like that. See that? Just like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to let that reduce. I'm going to turn my heat up. We're going to let it reduce. You see it bubbling and everything? I'm going to let it reduce. Matter of fact, I'm going to hit it with a little more cream. Just a little. There we go. Now, you seeing it bubbling? Letting it reduce. Okay? The one big thing though is pepper. A little bit of pepper. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to let it reduce. I'm going to hit it with my uh, fettuccine noodles. And this is how you make, all right, a nice creamy pasta alfredo at home, very low cost, cost efficient, just for yourself. I hope y'all don't think that I just cook like this because I'm sitting around here. Me and the kids don't eat like this. I, I fix hot dogs and, 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 and baked beans and pinto beans, stuff like that. And we're gonna get into some of that too. I'm gonna show y'all how to make some kid meals 
and everything when you get back. Excuse me, man, I'm sorry, huh? I can't see y'all. There we go, much better, much better. We're gonna make some kid meals and everything. <laughs> y'all like fat man, you crazy. And all of that, Getting finishing my shout outs. Of course, quarter to nine records out there in NY and Florida. I got my girl, Angela Heard. Yeah, fuck your couch. You know what I'm saying? She turned me on to that. Big shout out to Angela Heard. Joy LaShawn, me and her getting ready to go out. Vanessa, she always keep it cracking on Facebook. If y'all want the news, check out Vanessa. All right, you know what I'm saying? And of course, my man T, Conscious Mind Records out there in Florida. Congratulations on y'all award. Everline, Everline Walker. You know I got love for you, girl. You my BBW. And whoever the hell Steve was that called me out of the blue on my on, on on my phone and wouldn't give me the name. That ain't cool, player. And if you a woman, that really ain't cool. And if you kind of, we not even going to get into that. So, y'all see what, what I'm talking about when it reduces. You see what I'm saying? You get a fitness like that. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Excuse me. So the cameraman, Steve. Excuse the cameraman. That's what I'm talking about right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me some of my noodles. This is what the noodles look like once you stop the cooking process. Get some noodles. Put them in there just like that. Don't need a lot. Just need a little bit. Now, put this back on the fire. Toss it in there. You don't want a lot, just toss it up a little bit. And we're gonna come back, y'all, and when we come back, we'll be doing the plate up, all right? This is cooking with fat. Y'all ain't know I got down like this. See, but that's what I be telling you. I cook with love. Y'all ladies need to know that. Y'all need a man that's gonna cook with love. You see how I flip that? And you know what I'm saying? You get over here, I'm gonna flip you like that. It's called tossing that ass. I, excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. We'll be back with cooking with fat. I'm sorry. Y'all got me talking. You see this consistency of what I got here? Now we're gonna flip it a couple of times. That way we get everything in it. And we're gonna plate it up. Nah, nah, I want, I want all my BBWs out there, I want somebody to chime in and <laughs> let me know whose man is cooking like this for them. If your man cooking like this for you, I'm going to give him a BBW award. Then we're going to garnish it off with the tails that I had earlier. Alright, a little Parmesan cheese, a couple of croutons. Bingo. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lobster saute and fettuccine with a light cream sauce, all right? Your boy Fat Man ain't no joke, you know what I'm saying? Big shout out to everybody that's been supporting me, that's been checking out my show, that's been uh, being behind me and all of that. You know, I got a lot of stuff coming up and I appreciate y'all sticking with me. I can't name everybody in all the BHM, the BBW groups, but I love y'all, okay, because y'all love me. And I thank y'all for embracing me the way y'all have, all right? But like I said, any lady want to come over to dinner, holla at your boy Fat Man. You know what I'm saying? Because I puts it down. And if you know I can cook, then you know I can. We'll be back. See y'all later with more cooking with fat, all right? I'm about to get me something else to drink. Here's to you, all my BBWs. I love y'all, all right? Come holla at your boy. See you next time.